a lot of people are used to using Android Auto in their cars and after getting a Tesla they're surprised Tesla doesn't support Android Auto now there's nothing wrong with the Tesla software the UI is pretty good in my opinion it's miles ahead of the competition navigation is also pretty good if you give it a chance but sometimes people crave for familiarity so if you've been using Google Maps for navigation it can seem a bit strange and daunting to move away from that fortunately there is a way to get Android Auto on your Tesla it is a workaround so it doesn't function as smoothly as it would have if it was native but it's still pretty good make sure your phone is connected to your Tesla via Bluetooth and that the audio source is set to Bluetooth too you do this by going into the radio application then tapping on the radio arrow pointing down and then on the drop down list select bluetooth next you'll have to download and install the app called tesla that's tesla with two a's at the end at the time of publishing this video it costs four pound and 39 pence and well worth the price you'll see why after we go through how to set up which by the way is super easy now turn on the wi-fi hotspot on your phone then tap on the wi-fi icon at the top of the control screen the tesla will now scan and display detected wi-fi networks so your hotspot should appear in the list select your wi-fi hotspot and then enter the password if you have one set up then touch confirm. I've already connected before so I've not been asked to enter a password or receive the prompt as you only need to do that once. Launch the Tesla for Android app, it will now ask for permissions to be able to record audio, tap while using app, then it will ask for permissions to set up a VPN network, tap OK. In order to start Android Auto from the background you would also need to give another permission. Tap OK then enable permissions to appear on top. Then there's one more permission to enable. You need to provide permission for the app to make changes to the system. This is so it can toggle the Wi-Fi hotspot on and off when the phone connects to the car's Bluetooth. Next you need to select this if you want the Tesla for Android Auto to start automatically when it connects to your car's Bluetooth. If so select the Bluetooth name being used by your Tesla. You'll also need to select the resolution. I find 1080p works best so select that. All you need to do now is go to the browser the Tesla and navigate to www.androidwheels.com. You might want to bookmark this website so it's quicker to access next time. Now on the app, tap start service manually. Not sure why this has to be done but it would have been better if it just worked by having the app open. Straight as you do that, you should see the web page now display Android Auto from your phone. I didn't select 1080p properly before so I just need to do that and you can see once I do that and tap start service manually, Android Auto is now displayed. If you used Android Auto before, you should be right at home here. All your Android Auto compatible applications should now be available. So YouTube Music is on there. It's pretty much smooth to navigate around and of course your playlist should be available too. Now, I'm sure you're not here to see YouTube Music. Let's get back to App Launcher and start Google Maps. Plot in a destination and there you go, it works exactly like you would expect it to. You're obviously not limited to just Google Maps, Waze can also be used, I'm not a huge fan of Waze but there's plenty of people who are so that should be good news to them. Pitch to zoom in the apps doesn't work so for instance in Google Maps you need to use the actual zoom plus and minus buttons. If you try and use pitch to zoom it zooms into the whole interface or page as this whole thing is running in the browser. Hopefully something can be done about that in the future. Google Assistant works but I need to trigger it by tapping on the mic. Navigate me to the Sainsbury's in Ladbroke Grove Canal Way. Navigating to Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's may be closed by the time you arrive. When you use Google Assistant, it does seem like it's using the microphone on your phone. So if it doesn't work too well, it's probably because the mic on your phone isn't too good. And while we're on that subject, the overall performance of Android Auto using this method will also depend on the phone you're using. So of course, newer phones with newer chipsets will mean a smoother experience. I've been using this while wirelessly charging my phone. Doing so does seem to overheat the phone. So you might want to use wired charging instead. Otherwise, things do generally run well. Although there have been a few times when the app froze or the browser was stuck and required refresh. Refreshing. The main point here is this is a workaround so of course it's not going to be perfect but it has been continually improving. I've no doubt it will continue to get better. So what do you guys think? Is this enough to end your premium connectivity subscription? I'm still keeping my subscription as I like the ability to view the Tesla cameras remotely but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If this video helped you please consider subscribing. I'll be publishing a Tesla Model Y accessories video very soon and you don't want to miss that so make sure you tap that bell icon too. And here's some other videos you might be interested in. Thanks and chat to you guys later.